Hi there, it's Susie Iverson, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, and I'm here with a quick tip showing you how you can line up and evenly distribute or space various objects in Photoshop. So I'm using Photoshop CS4 for this tutorial. Should work in earlier versions of the program as well. So I have a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout here with a background so you can see these alpha letters, and I've spelled out a couple words. I'm going to show you how we can take this word and line it up so they're all in a line like these three letters are, as well as line these ones up so they're vertically lined up, as well as space them out so I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, so I don't have some elements that are further apart and some that are overlapping each other. So making sure you have the move tool selected. Um, if you click off in the edge, then you won't have anything selected, and then click and drag and you will select everything that's within this box made by the marching ants. Now this is also going to select our background, so if you hold shift and click on the background, it will unselect the background and we'll keep all of the letters that we want to line up. So the first thing we want to do is align these. Now because they're squares, you could choose to align them along the top edge, the bottom edge, or along their centers. To do that, that's these three icons right here. If you hover over them, for long enough it will pull up what it means. So align top edges, align vertical centers, align bottom edges. I'm going to go ahead and just choose align vertical centers. Click on that and it will bring all of those tiles in a line. And so now we can deal with these spaces where there's not any space here and there's some here. That's what these three, so that's what this set over here does. Um, it distributes elements and what we want to do is we're going to choose this one so that you can see that it's lining up two different elements and spacing them out. We want to distribute the horizontal center. So go ahead and click on that icon. And you'll see that Photoshop takes what space there was and splits it between all of the different spaces. So now we don't have letters overlapping each other anymore. And then you can click on the link layers icon down here at the bottom of the palette. And that will keep those elements together, so if you were to click on it to move the title, you don't accidentally just move one piece of it. So let's look at doing that for a vertical set now. I'm going to go ahead and click and drag, so I select all of those elements, then shift-click to unselect the background. Now this time, instead of aligning the vertical centers like we did on the word colorful, we want to align the horizontal centers, which is this middle icon in this first set. So we'll go ahead and click on that, and as you can see, it pulls all of those tiles into a single column. And now I want to distribute the space so that these two aren't touching and there's less space between some of these. So again, we're going to go to this section which has all the distribute tools, but this time we want to distribute the vertical centers. So go ahead and click on that, and you'll see that it spaces all those elements out evenly. And then you can click on the link layers icon to link those together so again if you grab it to move it you grab the whole word and not just one letter. If you have any questions for me you can email me suzyqscraps at gmail.com or you can visit my website suzyqscraps.com. Thanks!